Hi, I'm Matt Blackburn, and I wanna talk about electromagnetic fields today and two easy ways you can mitigate them. You're familiar with the term EMF, and this is thrown around very haphazardly in the health community. A lot of people will recommend crystals, organite, and shungite, and a lot of things you could just wear in your system, and they think they're protected. That's not only incorrect, but that's dangerous advice. So what's important to understand with electromagnetic fields is that there's multiple different types. There's dirty electricity, there's wireless, there's electric, and there's magnetic fields. Those are four different types. So when someone tells you EMF, you should automatically think that's a category. It's not one type of energy. It's a category with subcategories underneath. And each of those have subcategories. So it's very complex, this issue of EMF, otherwise known as EMR, electromagnetic radiation. The two easiest things you could do are hardwire your house to ethernet, turn off the Wi-Fi, and two, install dirty electricity filters. And that's what I'm going to teach you how to do in this video. Wi-Fi is the easiest thing to mitigate and that's the most important thing to mitigate. I don't care if you live on the 48th story and you pull up your phone and you go to settings, you go to Wi-Fi and there's 20 signals and they're constantly cycling out because there's more than 20. It doesn't matter. It's the router in your space that makes all the difference. It's proximity with EMS. It's proximity. That's why it's really good to use a selfie stick all the time, a simple $10 selfie stick, and keep that microwave transmitter away from even your hand, forget your head, and the effect is three feet. So there's a drop off in radiation, there's an equation where three feet of distance from your cell phone is safe. That's why if you're watching a video, you don't hold it in your hand, you don't put it on your lap by your reproductive organs, your master glands to regulate all your hormones. That's ridiculous. You keep it away from you three feet. There's so many ways to mitigate it. But how about starting with this? Unplugging your Wi-Fi router at night. I did that for years. The next step is to get a Zap remote and you just hook it up to a little remote and you have that by your bedside and you press off and now you're not getting radiated all night long while your system's trying to regenerate because it's impossible to heal in these fields. It's impossible to heal. The nervous system can't even, can't even function. The things that EMFs really hit are the endocrine system and the immune system. It thrashes those two. Endocrine, think hormones, like your endocrine glands, and your immune system, so autoimmune disorders that are on the rise like Lyme disease, all these conditions that aren't really talked about in the mainstream, but that are an epidemic right now. And let's just go a little simpler, something more chronic and more mainstream, candida infection, fungal infection, sugar monsters, wanting to eat all the time, wanting to graze all the time. I don't care if it's fruit, that's fungal. And what feeds fungus EMR, electromagnetic radiation or EMFs, they feed these microbes. They actually use this energy to breed, to replicate, to empower themselves. So what happens when you pull the rug out from under them? They can't actually function. And then you experience health. You can turn your Wi-Fi off at night. You can hook it to a remote and flip it off at night. That's the start. And then if you want to go all the way, which I recommend, you get rid of the Wi-Fi completely, especially if you live in a house. If you live in a house, maybe you just have one or two neighbors next to you, or maybe even none, then you're really living the life and you can go all the way here. If you're in that situation, if you're in a house and you have Wi-Fi going all the time, you're just cooking yourself. It doesn't make sense at all. It makes sense to hardwire your house. Convenience is the big thing. You say, I, I use my iPad. How am I gonna connect to the internet? Well, if you have unlimited data, which is pretty affordable at this point for your phone, that's 
done. You just use the unlimited data on your phone. And then when it comes to your Mac desktop, your laptop, your iPad, you hardwire it with this, a network cord. And there's all sorts of adapters you can buy to even hardwire your phone if you use your phone as your primary source of watching YouTube or different things. And really the device you want to look at is called the TP-Link and it took me five minutes to hardwire our place here. It's super easy. This is what it looks like. You can find them on Amazon. You can find them at the electronics store. AV2000 two-port gigabyte. So essentially you have two ports at the bottom here. Oftentimes you'll just need one. That's what I use. And you just connect it right to your computer, right to your iPad. You might need a few adapters. Those are really easy to find. 1200 megabytes per second is enough. 2000 is very fast. A side benefit of hardwiring your internet is that you're gonna have way faster connection speeds. A little tip though, make sure not to plug this into a power strip. This must be plugged directly into the wall. If it's a fairly new home, then you're already connected and it'll just be connected right through the walls. This is what you wanna get, it's pretty affordable. You essentially daisy chain them. So you find the place in the house where internet is coming from, contact your electrician, you can set this up very fast. That's the best way to do it. Just reach out to your local electrician, tell them what you wanna do, hand them these things and they'll take care of it. I did it myself and it was pretty easy. Here's the setup in my office. Plug it in and there's a little button on the right here and you press that and it'll link. And then you go to where the main one is and you press the button on there within two minutes and they sync up. And then you just connect this network cord, have it going around here to my Mac desktop and that's it. So like I said, in most scenarios, you'll just need one port. If you have multiple devices, you could even buy splitters where there's many of these. So just play with it, but make this a priority for your health. Hardwire your home. And if you don't do that, just turn the Wi-Fi off at night. It's so easy. But you'll notice that when you're not exposed to Wi-Fi when you're home all the time, your nervous system just calms down, you feel less stressed, less anxious, because your calcium ion channels, which is the effect that non-native EMF has, aren't being opened all the time. That's stress. Calcium floods into the cell, it blows up the cell, it, it swells it, and now you have decreased ATP production. So the mitochondria have to work harder. The, the cells are less efficient at making cellular energy. So you don't have as much cellular energy, you don't have regeneration, you don't have function in any tissue of your spacesuit. Now let's just talk about the brain, the pineal gland, the hypothalamus, the pituitary. These are very sensitive. Cancers, autoimmune diseases, Lou Gehrig's disease, depression, anxiety, insomnia, chronic fatigue. A lot of these things are because we're electromagnetic toxic. So it's one thing to take out the EMFs and then to actually supplement it with the Magnetico sleep pad like we have on our Synergize site. The amp coil would be the next level and these different tools. Now you're really talking about actually experiencing vital health. Dirty electricity is the next aspect and to me this is just as important as reducing your exposure to wireless radiation. This is direct radiation. So when you sleep on your bed at night and the wall is right here, just know that there's electrical wiring in that wall and that whenever there's electricity running through a cord, through a wire, there's a corresponding magnetic field that's generated perpendicular to it, hence the term electromagnetism. And that radiates two to three feet. So you're being exposed to excess millivolts all the time, something our system was not designed for. It didn't evolve with this energy. And why does this occur? Well, it comes from power lines, it comes from the wiring in your walls, and it's excess energy. 
that your house is not using your electronics are not using so it's basically bleeding off and creating this what's called dirty electricity all devices now switch thousands of times per second from AC to DC and back and those fluctuations actually create a blast of energy that harms us that harms our cells you can measure this with an EMI meter electromagnetic interference it's really helpful to have meters that can see what our senses cannot pick up this is one of them called a line EMI meter and this measures the fluctuations ideally you should be below 30 millivolts on average you can see this is jumping around quite a bit but the average is around 20 definitely below 50 when I brought this to my parents' house, it actually measured, by my dad's side, close to 900 millivolts. 900 millivolts is ridiculous. That's just insane to sleep next to that. That's almost a thousand millivolts. At that point, we're moving into really destructive ranges of dirty electricity but really anything above 50 is harmful. So what's the solution? It's called green wave filters. For every room, you'll need about two to three. And I'll just unplug this here to show you. And you can already see this jump up. So now it's averaging close to 100, whereas before it was around 20. It'll jump around a little bit. And I also have one over here. So I have two in this room. And I'll unplug this from the power strip here. And now you can hear that. Now, when you're sleeping, you can't hear this with your ears, but your mitochondria can. This is what they're listening to. And this is nothing compared to what you can find in apartment buildings, houses with a lot of electric devices going off. Super harmful. So now watch, so just, so look at that reading, close to 200. Now I'm gonna plug one in over here. Dropped quite a bit. Jumping around a little bit, but that was a huge decrease. And I'm gonna go over here and plug this one in too. And now it decreased even more. And the jumping around isn't as important as the average. You can get these filters at the link below We'll also have it on our Synergize site. This is called Green Wave. And there's a little filter built into here. You just plug these into the wall. You can plug these into power strips, unlike the hardwire ethernet adapters. These can go right in the power strips and they'll still do their job. And the cool thing about these is they have a plug on the bottom so that you actually don't lose an outlet with this. And like I said, two to three per room Ideally, you want to get their home kit and just stock your home. Put it in the rooms that you spend the most time in. That's really key, especially your bedroom. Even if you just get two to three for your bedroom, that will make a world of difference in your sleep. I would also recommend just quick tips for EMFs. Get rid of the Fitbit. Get away from Bluetooth devices. Don't use wired headsets to talk with people on the phone use a selfie stick on speaker and go outside and hold it away from you. If you want to use a headset, use an air tube headset. They're about 30 bucks. Those are my top tips though. Get hardwired in your home and get these filters installed for the dirty electricity. Just those two things alone. Watch your sleep. See how you feel. Watch your mental clarity your energy levels, your mood, 
EMFs really screw up our mood because if they're screwing with our hormones, that means they're screwing with our neurotransmitters that our glands and our brain create. So take the stress off your system. DHA from Symbiotica is a super help, especially if you live in the city for electromagnetic radiation because the calcium ion channels opening are just one effect of EMF. You also have the oscillations, which if there's no fatty acid in the cell membrane to protect from those oscillations, you're gonna have electrons shaken off and you're gonna have loss of energy. If you could see a human in an electromagnetic radiation environment, you would see light coming off in excess, draining light because that's what it's doing. It's zapping our light, zapping our electricity. It's energy vampirism at its deepest, but it's chronic. That's super dangerous. Thanks for watching. Check out the links below. Green Wave filters. Use the code Symbiotica to save 5% off. I'll put the link in the code below. Sharveen and I made a website called Synergized. That's all of our top products that we recommend that we personally use, that we've discerned. I'll put the link below, it's C-Y-N-E-R-G-I-Z-E-D.com. Most of the products have discount codes. These are all tools that we personally use and have used our discernment to figure out which ones actually work, what's the most efficient, what's the most affordable. And we'll be making videos breaking down how we use these, what they're for, why they're on our website. So thanks for watching and stay supercharged.